Hey everyone! Today in this video, I'm going to be covering a new trading strategy that you can use. And this is for those people who want to trade without using Martingale. And this could be uh, something that you can look into. The trades for this are longer term in duration. Uh, when I say longer term, we're talking about 5 minute or 15 minute expiries. And if you're not looking to Martingale, this could be one of the ways to do it. So what about this strategy? I mean, first and foremost, it's called a 5 to 15 minute binary V2. And this strategy has had a lot of uh, likes and comments on the TradingView platform. So for those of you who are new to TradingView, TradingView is a really, really good charting system. And for those of you already on TradingView, well, this is one of the very popular binary scripts out there. There's gotten a lot of feedbacks and many people said that it's one of the best that they've used. So over here in Binary Lab, uh, what I like to do is to basically uh, understand and reinterpret and see how things can be improved. In this video, we'll just be talking about like how to interpret the signals and at the same time be suggesting some ways to improve it. In subsequent video, we'll be showing you side by side uh, trading to show how these signals would turn out in real time. Okay, so these are actually the indications to sell and and uh, I've, I've had to scroll back a very big distance because you will notice that there are actually very, very few uh, signals here. So I had to go back really far back on the chart to actually find some. Secondly, um, I also wanted to point out that if any script that you're looking at has very few opportunities to trade, then uh, what you can do is that you can also set up your alerts. So click it from the indicator as well. And then from here, you can actually um, set an alert on you know the you know, for example both entry setup the you can just make it like open ended uh, you can actually get them to show a, a pop up and it could be like you know uh, once per bar once per bar close once per minute or only once and uh, you can actually do other things like you know send email uh, web hook so uh, these are for those who are trading on larger time frames so if you find that you like this on the one minute chart and you would like to use this for a longer time frame chart then you can actually you know use these functions like send email that's one of the things that people used to do in metatrader 4 and still do today now let's look into the indicators what are most people looking for in binary options when they evaluate a strategy they want something that is accurate they want something that has uh, enough opportunities to trade most people doing binary options have very limited time in a day to actually work on all this stuff so Therefore, uh, it's quite important that many people have had experiences um, with subjectivity of the indicators, uh, resulting them in resulting in people getting very very confused and um, doubting themselves. So that is why it's very important to have indicators to help you to decide. When I look at this indicator, I feel that uh, there has potential and actually much more opportunities than what we see over here. Having said that, uh, the first things that I can observe from here is that this is best working in a trend. So at all the crossings, uh, let's say you know this is a downward trend, and we can see because you know it's lower lows, all right. And uh, of course, there are the smaller lows and the bigger lows as well taking place. So at all of these, um, uh, you know, crossings or let's say coming back to the line and coming back down, uh, these are all very good opportunities to take the trades in the ways that uh, the Creator had envisioned, which is like you know, you take your five or fifteen minute expiry. Um, I, I would like to prefer a uh, five minute versus a fifteen. Why? Because it's shorter, and that's the whole purpose of binary options because you can get out of the trade faster. And um, at the same time, over here we do see like you know some upward ascension is basically a wave up, and then we have the wave down. And interesting as well that this happened at uh, this time when when it's coming down. So. Over this point, then we can take the five minutes trade, and then it goes, you know, off to the races. But uh, would you realistically take such a trade? Well, it depends. Um, over here as well, we see that uh, it has uh, gone up, come down, and then crossed down, and then it took off very nicely. Over here, same thing, gone up, make a lower high, and cross down and come down. So ultimately, all these are making lower highs than the previous, and making very good breakout trades. So uh, this going in trend is really good, but uh, what I can foresee as an issue is that you know we need some definition of support and resistance so that we do not get into a trade too early. What I've just done here is I added in the other indicator called the binary awesome tendencies that we used in our previous videos to actually help us to identify these areas of support and resistance. It kind of helps that uh, like you know at by this time that the 
crossing would have occurred, we would have seen uh, support resistance being established as well. So that will help us to confirm this um, uh, opportunity to trade. How can this work as well as a reversal trade as well? So obviously in, in the price action, there's always going to be swinging, going swinging up, swinging down. And at those times, there will be the oversold and overbought as well. So in this case, uh, if we're looking to go counter trend, we have to wait for it to um, you know, go into the oversold area and then cross up and cross up to coincide with a, with a support uh, resistance line to ensure that that would confirm us in this upward direction. So the same thing happened over here as well. Uh, it went into the oversold area and uh, both lines in oversold area in fact. And when it crossed up, uh, that is when we can actually take it. But using common sense as well, if the uh, correction bar is too big, it's unwise to, to take the trade and you may want to look into the next one. For comparison's sake, this one there's also a big recovery bar. This one has a big recovery bar. So are these actually good trades? Well, maybe with a longer time, a longer expiry, yes. Um, longer expiries for this, maybe it had to be a 10 minutes. So at this point of time, like I said, in the next video, we'll be doing like side-by-side -side testing. And then uh, for now, I only can just make observations and we could see how we can try to curve it. So now we look at this scenario for the counter trend as well. It went into the oversold area and then over here there's a crossing up and the crossing up bar is actually very big. So uh, then again, you still need you know, a longer expiry for this to work. With, with the trend, notice that when it's going with the trend at the crossings, the, the signal bar is often uh, kind of short for this one here. And then with the trend as well, we look at the crossing over here. Uh, also a very short bar, so it's really, really good. Uh, with the trend, uh, look at this one, the signal bar again is very small. So upper side support is already there and the crossing bar is very short. So uh, as you can see, it is much, much better with the trend than against the trend. You know, against the trend, you have to go for a uh, longer expiry versus a short expiry for with the trend. So um, like, would you rather do with the trend or against the trend? That's something to think about. So um, I hope this video um, uh, helps you to get some ideas um, on ways to improve your trading if you're looking for methods uh, that do not require Martingale and people uh, do not prefer Martingales for various reasons. Uh, and the, the main reason is because people want to go larger on the trade size without having too much to worry about. As with all things, uh, before I actually wind up this video, I also want to point out and remind you that when you're evaluating this chart, please look at the timing that you're doing this as well. Uh, timing of the trading is very, very important. And if the market has no activity, um, even the best strategy will not be able to save you. So look at the pre-market open. Right now we happen to be in the market open time. So uh, look at my previous video as well about the best times to trade and so that you can rec better recognize uh, good market conditions and bad so that you can save yourself from making uh, unnecessary losses and a lot of frustration uh, during the wrong times. So by trading at the right times, you can greatly improve your chances of winning. And finally, uh, as I always said, uh, always take the time to test and evaluate the strategy uh, so that you are comfortable with it is one and secondly that way when you go for um, you know your your demo trading you also can come across all kinds of market situations and that may not be very textbook and you find your own ways to adapt to it uh, i'm here to help out and you're welcome to share some of your findings questions with me as well and find solution together and at the same time when you have done your due diligence in practice and also to encounter different market situations when you actually go live with your cash it is not really like taking a risk because everything becomes like an educated decision. So thanks for watching this video and I give me your likes and subscribes if you're new to this channel and hit the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever I put out the next video. Thanks for watching.